We're getting closer and closer to the iPhone 12's release and we've been getting new information every day in order to have a better idea of how the new iPhone lineup will look like. If you like Apple news, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. So starting off with one of the most controversial topics, it's extremely likely that the new iPhones won't come with a charging adapter and earphones in the box, only a new USB-C to lightning cable. According to TrendForce, a Taiwanese research company, the new iPhones will also be more expensive than its predecessors due to the addition of the 5G technology, so this may be another reason why Apple may take the accessories out of the box, in order to keep the price as it is. The environmental impact may be another reason, as shipping the new iPhones with less accessories may result in a thinner box, less waste and less carbon emissions for production and transportation. Now, from the business point of view, it's possible that this change increases AirPods sales. According to Ming-Chi Kuo, the 5G components needed can range from $75 to $125 per unit, but he still believes that the iPhones will cost the same as Apple is supposedly cutting costs on other parts. It's also important to consider that Apple is usually able to keep the new prices behind closed doors until the release. However, according to TrendForce, the 5.4-inch iPhone 12 may start between $699 and $749, the iPhone 12 Max between $799 and $846, the 12 Pro between $1049 and $1099, and the 12 Pro Max between $1149 and $1109. $99. Many analysts have said that this year's iPhone will possibly be more expensive than last year's, but as I said, Ming Chi Kuo still believes that the price will probably not change. Besides, he also said that Apple may possibly release a new 20 watt power adapter for the iPhone 12 that is going to be sold separately. Also, this new power brick may have a new USB C port and it may be really similar to the 18 watt one released last year. Now, it's been a while since we heard about the iPhone 12 colors, and it looks like a midnight blue option will be available in order to substitute the midnight green, according to Max Weinbach. I think this iPhone will look great, blue is extremely chic, and it goes well with everything. Weinbach also believes that the lower end models may come in light blue, violet, light orange, and more. And it is becoming more evident that the camera module will have a LiDAR scanner according to DigiTimes. The LiDAR scanner was first seen on the new iPad Pro and it determines distance by measuring how long it takes light to reach an object and reflect back. It is supposed to improve 3D representations and augmented reality. It's possible that this tech is only introduced to the Pro models, everything Apple Pro believes that we will see the LiDAR scanner only in the 6.7-inch iPhone 12 Pro Max, but John Prosser, on the other hand, believes that both iPhone 12 Pro models will have it. Now, the 120Hz ProMotion technology has been something really confusing, because we've heard a lot of different leakers say that it is happening, it is not happening, saying it is happening again, and as always, we have no way of being 100% sure. However, Ross Young believes that Apple may delay the iPhone 12's release due to issues with one of the parts in order for ProMotion to happen, or they may launch the new iPhones without this technology. John Prosser, on the other hand, believes that Apple is still testing ProMotion and it can still happen this year. He said that he cannot guarantee that it is happening or not, but he is not giving up yet. Regarding battery life, Digitime said that the iPhone 12's batteries may have a higher capacity and they may be more compact, but they will have better optimization. And talking about the release date, Luca Maestri, Apple's CFO, confirmed in July that it will be delayed. John Prosser believes that Apple is planning on launching the new Apple Watch and iPad via press release in September and the new iPhone via a virtual event in October. If you like Apple news, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.